So you would think that by going to the hospital, you're going to see the doctor that day. No, you get that ticket number, you wait, right? You wait, first of all, to get that ticket number, and then you wait for your ticket number to be called, and then you state your reason, and then the, the whole point of waiting was to make an appointment. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Angela, and for those who just came upon this video or new to my channel, I just want to share a little bit about myself. I'm just a gal in Shanghai currently sharing her experiences, and hopefully it'll give some insight for those who want to come here about Shanghai. And yeah, today is another sit-down video because um, as of filming right now, restaurants are still takeout only, so we can't really dine in, but hopefully I heard that will change in a couple of days. But anyways, today we're all, we are gonna talk about health insurance, health insurance in China. And I'm gonna break down into three parts. The first part is talking about the private health insurance, which is also known as the expat health insurance that you can get yourself or your company provides. Second, we're gonna dive into the public health insurance provided in China and third we're gonna end off with what is the social pension fund in China all about because that is something that I never really understood until I got to it a couple months ago so yeah let's just dive right in first private health insurance now if you worked at an English training center or you are currently working at a training center then you probably won't have private health insurance. Private health insurance are usually provided by big companies here in Shanghai or international schools here. I learned it the hard way. I thought when I was an English teacher for the three months last summer, I thought, oh, health insurance was provided, but that is not the health insurance like private health insurance, which I will dive into later. But yeah you probably won't get it. And what you may ask, what's the difference between private health insurance and the local health insurance? There's a big difference. Private, with the private health insurance, you don't have to go through the daunting process of just getting care at a local hospital or any hospital because you get to experience what you usually experience in the Western, kind of the Western hospitality care. So what is the daunting process you say? Well, essentially, if you're a local here in China, you usually just go to a local hospital and you wait in line to get a number. And this is called Gua Hao in China. And basically you can wait for up to two, three, four hours, depending on how many people are in the hospital. And essentially you just go to the hospital, wait to get a number. That number then you have to wait even further more to get your number called so you can go up to the stand and state your reason of visit. And so you would think that by going to the hospital, you're gonna see the doctor that day. No, you get that ticket number, you wait, right? You wait first of all to get that ticket number and then you wait for your ticket number to be called and then you state your reason. And then the, the whole point of waiting was to make an appointment to go see the doctor that you need to see. And that means going back home and then wait for that date to come to go see the doctor. So that is the daunting process and you don't wanna, you don't wanna handle that. I had my first experience at a local hospital just to see what it is and what it's like and let me tell you, I do not want to experience that ever again. So what can a private health insurance help you with? Well, you can skip all of that line. You can skip like the waiting and the daunting process and everything of a local hospital. And all you have to do is just call up a hospital you like to visit. If you are visiting a local hospital or there's only a local hospital next to you, you can call the center where you can get into the VIP service, which means that you can book an appointment first. And then once you go to the hospital, that is the same day you're gonna see the doctor. Um, with a private health insurance, you can also go to international English speaking hospitals. That is more, it has a more similar environment than what we're used to in the Western culture. In Shanghai specifically, there are three hospitals that I highly recommend. It's Jiahui International Hospital, Parkway Health, and Sino Health. These are the three that I went to before and I like their service. Really nice, foreign friendly, everyone speaks English and if you have a private health insurance those are the three private 
clinics to go to. And I mentioned about customer care. What I meant by that is that nobody's going to push you, nobody's going to yell at you, nobody's going to ignore you. And that is something that I experienced in the local hospital. I just felt like I was just like a tiny ant and they just want to swat me away and I don't know because they have a lot of people to go through but in a private very like international setting hospital there's none of that happening there is no long lines it's just very nice and organized so yeah another benefit so how do you obtain this private health insurance like i mentioned earlier first your company will provide you one so my company provide me with this insurance called msh china basically i could get um any of my you know if i have any problem i can go to those international hospitals and it's all direct billing free of charge i think up to like a million dollars this insurance also includes dental just like dental clean which I'm totally grateful for because not a lot of private health insurance have that or you have to like pay it extra but luckily my company provides that another way is you get it yourself what I mean by that is just googling best health insurance for expats and will show up but based off of my research number one for any foreigners is called Cigna Global I think the cheapest package um, that I saw was around $200 per month and then for Americans it will be Geo Blue um, I think that is also around 200 per month or cheaper depending on you know the plan that you're gonna choose but yeah check these two out if you're interested of getting a private health insurance yourself so next let's talk about the local health insurance now what is the local health insurance let me redo this so the local health insurance is a free public health care which is under the country's social insurance plan the healthcare system provides basic coverage for majority of the native population and in most cases expats as well now that is the definition of the local health insurance in Shanghai. And yes, like I mentioned before, it is a daunting process. You have to wait. You have to experience all kinds of hassles that I personally don't want like to experience. But hey, if you want to live cheaply, this is the cheapest option, cheapest route to go into to have a in health insurance. So if you don't mind the daunting process, then take this route, you will probably only have to pay like 10 or 50 yen um, of a fee to visit something or to take care of something and the, the government pays the rest. But if you do not speak Chinese and you don't have a family member that could speak Chinese, your first visit, I highly recommend you to find someone who can because it's initial. I think the first visit, at least you can get the hang of it, they can teach you, and then you can do it yourself later. So definitely it's a must if you don't know the language to just not go by yourself the first time. Go with somebody you know that who can speak the language. Lastly, I want to talk about the social pension fund in China. Now this is not entirely related specifically to healthcare, but it's part of it. So in China, apparently, I have my trusty computer because I want to give you the best information here. Both employees and employers are required to make contribution uh, to the pension system and workers contribute based on their individual wages at a rate of 8% while employers contribute a percentage of the total wage paid to their work per workforce, initially around 20%. Now, apparently everywhere in China, you have to contribute to the social pension fund but in Shanghai, it, it is optional because um, that was what happened to me. My company said it, either you have the social pension fund or you can get the foreign health insurance. And I was like, nope, I want the foreign health insurance because the social pension fund it doesn't really benefit foreigners. And you'll see why. Well, I'm going to tell you why. So in this pension, there is five mandatory health, mandatory insurance scheme. One is the pension fund, retirement money, medical insurance, industrial injur injury insurance, unemployment insurance, and maternity insurance. And plus the housing fund only applicable, applicable to Chinese employers. Now I'm going to head into why this is not beneficial to foreigners, except for Chinese people. Because if you do not plan to retire, your life in Shanghai or in China, then this social pension fund doesn't really benefit you because at the end of the day, you can't take out anything. So your employers are contributing and you are contributing a percentage of your paycheck to this pension fund and you get nothing out of it when you leave. You can't get your social pension fund back after you leave because I think like you can for the what? For the, the fund retirement money, but rest of the other four schemes it's 
you you cannot take money out and for even for the retirement fund money i heard it's such a hassle to get money out and it's just not worth it so if your employer does say hey you need to contribute to this um whatever social fund in china i would highly suggest to ask them okay obviously this will not benefit me is there any way that the salary can make up for this loss because it's a huge loss for us so just to let you guys know ahead what the social pension fund scheme is when you're trying to find a job here you can dive deep further to do your own research because i feel like maybe there are some loopholes that you can go through that can make your life a little bit easier in Shanghai regarding getting your salary. Hopefully this video will give you guys just a head start on your research on health insurance in China because it is very important. You might think that, man, I don't need no health insurance. I'm not gonna get sick. I'm not gonna get hurt. Well, those are the people that will most likely will get sick and will get hurt when they don't have a health insurance. And man, the medical bills do rack up if you don't have one. So I highly recommend you have one or just start to research more about it when you're heading into China or any country in general or in general because it's very important to have a health insurance so yeah all right that's it for today and again if you guys have any questions or just like any topics that you like me to cover please comment down below because that will give me some ideas to talk about that's actually that actually people want to hear and useful because that's that's what i'm here for is to help y'all figure life out in shanghai so see you guys next time bye